Hello friends, this video on surface area and volumes part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand cuboid. Before that, let's understand the concept of length, breadth and height. This is the convention, so if you have a cuboid given, so the straight line that is uh, almost perpendicular to your x-axis, this will be height. Okay. Line along x axis is considered to be length and the other line is considered to be breadth. Please note this is convention. Sometimes in questions they, have, they don't give what is length, what is breadth, what is height, or they don't give the orientation but they give the values and you have to figure out as per the convention which is the correct way. Okay, because the question the answers may differ based on which orientation you solve the question. So it's good to understand is the this is convention, I'll say. So by default, uh, this edge parallel to x will be length, parallel to y will, will be height, and the, the remaining one will be breadth. Okay, so now we have to find the surface area of the cuboid. This is cuboid. So cuboid is told that it has uh, six edges, six surface. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is cuboid. It has six uh, different surfaces, and if you see, it has one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, eight, and then again four. It has twelve edges. So it has. Let me write twelve edges, six surfaces. Okay, that is cuboid, and these are all perpendicular to each other. Now we have to find the surface area of the cuboid. That means, for example, this is a box. This is a cuboid box, and I want to know how much paper is required to make this hollow cuboid. Right? So I'm assuming this is a hollow cuboid. I want to know that. So let's find how to find the surface area of the cuboid. To find this, what we can do is let's break this cuboid. So let's move this first surface up. Let's move the second surface down, right? And uh, yeah, so if you see, right, or let's do one thing, let's uh, give a conventions first. So, so if you see this side is, let's suppose this is length, I'll make it A, okay? And this is breadth, I'll make it B, and this is height, I'll make it C. Let this be the dimensions of the cuboid A, B, C. Okay. Or I can say LBH. Let me, let's make it LBH only. This is length. This is bread. And this is height. Okay. Now let's move the first uh, rectangle out. So this side is L and this side is B. Correct. Let's move the second also down. So this side is L and this side is B. Let's move this in this direction. So in this, if you see, this is L, this is H. And if you see, this is H. Similarly, this one, this is B and this is H. Let's move the other one as well. So here also it is B and this is H. Yeah, let's move this as well. So this is L and this height was H, you see, yeah. So we have got these six figures, okay? Okay, so now we have got what? We have got six rectangles and now to find the surface area, area we have to just find the area of these rectangles and add. And let me number them. This be one, two, three, four, five and six. So let me write total surface area of the cuboid will be what? Will be area of one plus area of two, area of three, area of four, area of five and area of six. Correct. So let's add this. Area of one is what? Length into 
area of 2 is what length into height area of 3 is what breadth into height area of 4 is what length into breadth area of 5 is what length into height area of 6 is what breadth into height. so if you see lb is common twice so i will say twice lb lh is also common twice plus twice lh and bh is also twice twice bh so if you take two common it is lb plus lh plus bh that is the surface area of this cuboid we'll not do always we'll just we have done once and we'll use the same formula again and again okay note that for cuboid there is a different type of surface area that is called lateral surface area lateral surface area that is also used sometimes and lateral surface area is nothing but 2 into length plus breadth into height okay so when you say lateral surface area we don't take the top and the bottom so length and do breadth is not taken so you see l into b is missing this part is missing so if you don't take this part so what you get is a cuboid i mean you, you just get the lateral surface of area of the cuboid so when i say lateral surface area let me repeat once again lateral surface area i am saying ignore this part ignore this area and ignore the below area as well you take only this area this area this area and the area below so ignore the top and bottom what you get is a lateral surface area okay and that's why lateral surface area is 2 into l plus b into h because this is length and this is breadth so l into b twice of l into b is ignored that is the top and the bottom of the cuboid is ignored so let's try to find the surface area of the cube now so in, in Q, we know that all the sides are of length A. Right? So one option is we know the area of cuboid where it is cuboid is 2 into L into B plus LH plus BH. So one thing is you can just put L is equal to B is equal to H is equal to A. So L into B, become, B becomes A into A. L into H becomes A into A. And B into H also becomes A into A. Right? This becomes, if you solve it, it becomes 6a square. So that is one way of solving it or let's do the same thing again. So we have 6, we have cuboid with 6 sides, all sides same length. We'll break this cuboid. Okay. We'll break this cuboid into 6 piece. And you will notice that all these sides which we have got has dimension a into a. All these sides, all these uh, are nothing but squares. So you, you are seeing in this way because that is the orientation, but actually these are all squares with the area with edges A into A, right? Now for this area of one square is what? A square. Similarly, there are one, two, three, four, five, six square. So six into A square is six A square. So the area of cuboid will be, the surface area of the cuboid will be six A square, right? This, I can write. So let me write surface area of cuboid will be what 6a square. Similarly, the lateral surface area, we need to talk about the lateral surface area of sorry, this is cube of cube will be what 4a square. Why? Because the top and the bottom is ignored. So we have only four squares area to be added. Okay. Let's understand the concepts of surface area and cube and cuboid with some simple numericals. Okay. And I'll tell you one more thing to see in the questions. First is you should see always the dimensions. It should be in the same units. Sometimes this may be centimeter, this may be meter. So you have to all convert all these into same unit. Okay. And then you have to check uh, what all 
area they are looking for. And let's start with the question. So Mary wants to decorate her Christmas tree. She wants to place the tree on a wooden box covered with colored paper with the pictures of Santa Claus on it. So there may, must be some Santa Claus pictures on this. Okay. So let's suppose this is the box which is covered with a paper which has Santa Claus pictures on it. She must know the exact quantity of paper to buy for this purpose. She want to cover this with piece of paper and she want to know what is the how much paper is required for this purpose. And the length, breadth and the height of the box is given. How many square sheet of paper of this side would be required? Correct. So for that, see, you want, see, you want to cover the whole of this box which you see with paper. And this is a cuboid box. Length, breadth and height are given. So first we have to find surface area of what wooden box the surface area of the wooden box we have just seen is what is nothing but 2 into length breadth plus bh plus h correct and luckily the dimensions are all in same unit so nothing to worry so put the values here so this becomes 2 into L into B that is A2 into 40 plus B into H 40 into 20 plus L into H that is 80 into 20 and this is centimeter square so better put number here L B and H so you know what is L what is B what is H okay so you saw this this becomes 2 into 8 18 into 40 is uh, 3200. 40 into 20 is 800. 80 into 20 is 1600. Right? And this is centimeter square. So you solve this, this becomes 2 into 4500. 2 into 5600 centimeter square. And that is nothing but 112. Double zero centimeter square. So this is the surface area of this box. But um, the question didn't ask for it. The question says that Mary has to cover this, right? And to cover this, she need this uh, many centimeter square of paper. But the question is how many square sheets of paper she required? So square sheet of paper, each of the square sheet dimension is given, right? So surface area of square sheet is what 40 into 40 and luckily that is also in centimeter centimeter square so the number of sheets required to be what number of sheets required to be what surface area of wooden box by surface area of sheet so you saw this one one two double zero centimeter square by this is 1600 centimeter square by 1600 uh, centimeter square cancel and you saw that it comes out to be seven so seven sheets are required and that is the answer so what we did here we found the surface area of the box we found the surface area of the sheet and then we could actually find the number of sheets required to cover this box. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.